Football is always changing, and over the last 30 years we've seen some remarkable revolutions in the game, but none come close to the sweeper keeper. It has changed the face of goalkeeping, ushering in a new style of number one that does things that would give the giants of the 1980s and 90s nightmares. Operating outside the box, intercepting long balls, being part of a team's build-up play, this is now expected of a keeper. Those that can't do it have been pushed aside, no matter their reputation. Just check in on David De Gea, Hugo Lloris and Kayla Navas for proof of that. Sweeper keepers are now widely viewed as essential. So what laid the foundations for that? What is the true role of a sweeper keeper? And why is it so important? Let's explore. Every revolution needs a wow moment. A moment at the top level on the world stage where someone does something so different, it bowls you over. And for the sweeper keeper, that moment probably came in the 2014 FIFA World Cup round of 16 matchup between Germany and Algeria. Yes, the likes of Barcelona and Bayern Munich had been utilising a sweeper keeper in the years before that, but this game transcended everything. Here is Manuel Neuer's touch map from that game. A total of 69 touches, 21 of which came outside the box. By 2014 standards, this was madness. And furthermore, he made four daring charges out of his box in this game to sweep up behind the defensive line, meeting strikers that thought they were through on goal, clearing the ball as far as 30 yards away from his line. The world was stunned by this. Neuer executed the role perfectly, showing attributes not normally associated with goalkeepers. The bravery to come that far out, the speed to actually do it, this was not normal. Germany won the World Cup and Neuer was a key protagonist of that success, which naturally then set a new trend. Many managers then began to incorporate a sweeper keeper in their tactical setup where possible, finding the advantages too good to ignore. Fast forward almost 10 years and the game is littered with them. Allison, Edison, Terstegen, Martinez, Pope, Uno Simon, the list is a long one. And that's because they are integral to modern football tactics. So what exactly makes a sweeper keeper? Well, it's become a bit of a catch-all term for several goalkeeper actions, but the key factor is they do a lot of their work outside of the box. And that applies to defensive actions, but also on-the-ball actions, which we'll explain. The biggest reason to use a sweeper keeper is to run a high defensive line, which you have to do if you want to press high up the pitch and be aggressive off the ball. As the attackers commit to press, the midfield and defensive lines must follow up, ensuring there isn't too much space between the lines for the opponent to use. Now, there's always space somewhere on the pitch, and in pushing up in tandem, you leave a massive space in behind your defensive line for opponents to chip the ball into and run into. So combining this tactic with a traditional goalkeeper would be disastrous. He'd stay on his line, and you'd concede from 1v1 situations constantly. But if your keeper is happy to sweep up in that area, 30 yards away from goal, it reduces that threat significantly, as the passing behind would have to be perfect to cause real trouble. We can now measure the average distance from goal that a goalkeeper does their defensive work. And so far this season, there are six Premier League goalkeepers whose average is 19 yards or more. For reference, the penalty area is only 18 yards long. Now, these statistics weren't taken 10 years ago, but a simple eye test will tell you that the likes of Shea Given were not doing this. Neuer's theatrics outside his box in 2014 have now become normal, as has the fact that he joined in with his team's build-up play. He was actually vital in Bayern's 7-0 aggregate win over Barcelona in 2013, as Barca had not accounted for him as a build-up player, meaning he could play around and break their pressing with ease. And nowadays, it's normal to see goalkeepers heavily involved in build-up, perhaps acting as a third centre-back. The number of passes they're making hasn't necessarily shot up, but the distance on those passes has come right down. There's just over a decade between these two sets of numbers, and the difference is stark. Top teams' goalkeepers are passing the ball short now more than twice as often as they were back in 2011. And to add to this, take Brighton as an example. Their average goal kick length this season is just 10.2 yards. They are not launching this ball long. Now, the final part of this skill set is to be aggressive in coming out to claim crosses. 
If a goalkeeper is willing to step out and sweep behind the defence, they'll likely have no issue doing this either. Leaving the line and claiming crosses can be crucial to alleviating pressure on defences. Plucking a cross out of the air is essentially a reset in play, as you can take 6 seconds to get up and 10 more seconds to distribute it. If your defence is under siege, this will provide welcome relief, stopping those waves of pressure resulting in a mistake or a goal. In the Premier League, David Raya and Jose Sarr are two of the more aggressive cross claimers, while on the continent, Mike Magnon of AC Milan is by far the most willing and effective. So, in short, Neuer changed the face of football that night in 2014, encouraging a whole new way for goalkeepers to affect the game. Most teams who have employed a high press in the last 10 years have in turn moved towards a sweeper keeper who can marshal that space pressing leaves in behind. Those keepers have become increasingly good with their feet, either joining in with the team's build-up play or even becoming a key part of it. And it's become more and more common to see goalkeepers leave their line to claim or punch crosses and set-piece deliveries, which alleviates pressures on deep defences. It's tougher than ever to be a top goalkeeper. The number of skills you need is incredible, but the payoff is that they've never been held in such high esteem and they have never been seen as so crucial to the game.